so friends in our mpu oral for mu class 4 there are question asked about the shaft alignment that why we need shaft alignment and how will you align shaft of a pump after overall so moving towards our first question why we need shaft alignment there is need of shaft alignment of pump because up to 50% of damage to rotating machinery is directly related to misalignment vibration causing excessive noise bearing damage seal wear coupling damage which aligned pumps can also draw up to 15% more energy than aligned pump so these are the reasons why we need shaft alignment of pump so moving towards our next question how will you align the pump and motor after overall so there are basically three common methods used to align pump straight edge method dial gauge method laser beam method so first i will tell you about straight edge method this method requires placing a scale on the pump and motor coupling then making a visual check to see if the components are aligned so this method is very easy to perform and the accuracy is not as per other methods so as you can see in the image the scale is kept on the pump and the motor coupling so this method is not accurate as dial indicator or laser beam method is so moving towards our next method dial indicator method in this method we can use single or two indicators and these methods are rim and face method reverse dial gauge method so here checks are for radial runout and angularity the readings are then plugged into mathematical formulas to calculate shim requirements for proper alignment so according to experience also we can adjust the shims so in this method it is used because it is very accurate far more accurate than the straight edge method but this method is time consuming requires a high level of technical skill reading errors these errors are human errors so as you can see in the image the dial gauge are used they are fixed on the coupling of the pump and the motor and the readings are noted after rotating the shaft so to give any practical idea i have shown one video in which they have taken one dial gauge and they are taking the deflection of the dial gauge so as i mentioned there were two methods for dial indicator method and you can see in the figure how the dial gauge are arranged the rim dial measures offset and the face dial measures angularity so for practical understanding for the face dial how it measures the angularity so this is how it is fixed on the coupling and it measures the angularity of the shaft so this is the second method of the dial indicator method reverse rim aligned method so in this both dial measures offset on the rim the angular error is the slope between the two offset values so this is how it is arranged on the shaft now our last method is laser beam alignment method this method uses lasers to determine the relative shaft positions the computer that makes recommendations for adjustment this method is more accurate method among all methods which i have told you but this has the disadvantage of because it is most expensive method among all so mostly we follow the dial indicator method in which we can use single dial gauge or double dial gauge as i mentioned in the video so these were the methods by which we align the pump so friends if this video was helpful to you please like and subscribe marine help code